Hi guys, it's Jen from uh, Scan and Cut Jam Sessions. Uh, we're going to work on the heart mat with the swirly insides. Okay, so I pulled this heart out of the shapes um, in the library. Um, and I do not like to work in color. You know that because I like to see the line that's going to be cut. So go in on the page setting here and click show outlines only. You're going to pull this puppy up here. Come over to the arrow sections. Click this to page and then you're going to click both of the center ones and that centers that heart perfectly on the page. Then uh, come down here to the wrench you're going to click normal and shadow rounded. This little box will come up here. And I usually do a point one zero. Okay. All right. Let's come back here and we're going to click another heart. And we're going to pull this one up. Okay. Let's see if I'm getting close. Yep. Put it right here and then drag it downwards. A little bit too much. Okay, so then come back here and click the metal buttons. Alright, I'm going to drag this down here a little bit more. Okay, now if you want to adjust this uh, point right there. I come in here and I click my editing tool, my node tool, and then I bring it down there and that increases it. So let's try to pop this one out a little bit. Because I want this to try to be equal all the way around. I don't like that. perfect okay well perfect for me anyhow I don't like it when there's like a really thick edge right here because the hearts when you try to duplicate it and make it a little smaller it just for some reason doesn't scale right okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight that highlight all of it come up here to oops path and then the back minus front and remember sometimes if that center heart disappears even though it was on top you just come up to the path and do the front minus back. Okay, so that should have worked. Let's see, preview, yep. Okay, so there's our frame. So that's another way to make the frame. Okay, so now let's come in here. We'll come down to swirls and we'll start clicking on the swirls and you can make them as big as you want. Um, the one I did that I posted was just a real quick one. Um, I didn't really, <coughs> take the time to lay out a, a nice design. I just kind of wanted you guys to see what I was talking about. Alright, so there's that one. And you can pick through all of these to kind of give it a different look. And these do turn out very pretty and they're so easy to do. But it looks like you put a ton of work into it. Okay. Okay, I fast forwarded a little bit so you didn't have to suffer through all of that. Alright, so I just kind of put them all over sporadically, um, pick between all the different ones on here that look alike, and placed them on there. So now we're going to highlight everything. We're going to come up to Path, and we're going to click Union. And I have noticed if you go in and you union once and you try to do it again, that's when all the things start to disappear. Okay, so there that's what that looks like and that is just gorgeous but it didn't take long at all to do and then you go and you cut it and you have that beautiful mat alright guys so that is how you do it in scale um, of course you come up here to export and then you hit your um, right down here you hit your FCM type in the name here and you can save it onto your uh, files or you can come over here and right here will be your USB stick and actually I will go ahead and plug mine in right now to show you where that pops up because I know some people have difficulty in that. So it should come, yep, there it is. So that's where you can save it if you don't want to save it as a file onto your computer. Okay.
Thanks a lot. Check the other ones because I'm going to be doing a whole bunch more today.